Hi guys and welcome to another IBM BPM technical tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about making REST requests. Specifically we're going to make REST requests from within inside the BPM environment. So in our story here we'll imagine that we have a REST service provider that exists somewhere outside of BPM. In my example, I'm going to use an internet-based REST service provider, but this may be a, a, some service that you've got running within your own network. So the goal here is to have BPM make a REST request. Now, there are many different ways that we can choose to achieve this goal, and the one that I'm going to look at in this video is using the service component architecture. So that means that this technique is only going to be available from BPM Advanced, but I think this is one of the more powerful techniques available. So in this story, in our BPM process, we're going to define something called an Advanced Integration Service, or an AIS, and that will allow us to build an SCA module that when the BPM process invokes the AIS, the AIS in turn is going to make the REST request outbound to the REST service provider, and when the response comes back, the flow will come all the way back to the BPM process. So that's the high-level notion. So in my environment, I have defined an advanced integration service. So my advanced integration service looks like this, and I've got an input which is a location, for example, a city, state, and country code. And what the REST service is going to provide is a geolocation, specifically a latitude and longitude pair of that particular city. Now, where did I get the service from? Um, I am using something called MashApe. MashApe, I nearly said MashUp there, but MashApe. And MashApe is a broker service out on the internet which allows us to use uh, services that are registered with MashApe. Now, MashApe has a particular service that it makes available through their brokering called Zippopotamus. And Zippopotamus allows us to f enter in US addresses, and what we get back are the latitude and longitude coordinates of that particular city, state, and country. I guess country's got to be US since it's a US based service, but uh, that's the notion. So, my goal here was to invoke a REST service that I did not own and make sure that this works. Now, this service takes as input a JSON encoded data structure and returns a JSON uh, encoded data structure. So that's all good. So let's see what we had to do. So first thing I did was in my process, I created a business object definition where it had parameters of city, country and state. Now these are the input parameters that are needed by my REST service, but I didn't model these from REST service data. I assumed that my business user was able to provide this data. And the return from this will be a geolocation which contains a latitude and longitude pair. So with those two data structures defined as business objects, I was then able to create an advanced integration service, which I unimaginatively called AIS1, and provided the input parameter of a location and the output parameter of a geolocation. Having created the AIS definition, I then created uh, or opened uh, my IID, inte uh, IBM Integration Designer, tooling and imported from the process center my BPM based process app and of course that brought in the advanced integration service and then I wired my SCA solution to look like this. Now this is what we're going to talk about now. In the, advan in the SCA module that we're looking at here, I brought in an HTTP import component. Now, the HTTP import is the magic that allows us to call a backend REST service provider. So it's the HTTP import which makes the actual outbound REST service. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, to drive 
the HTTP import, I included a mediation component. And the mediation component provides the capability to transform data. So if we open up our mediation component, in here I have my input mapping where I'm mapping the city, country and state fields into the URL for the address. So this is going to provide us a concatenation of the URL for our, uh, uh, our component, uh, our service. So HTTPS, community, zippopotamus, pmashape.com, followed by the country code, followed by the state, followed by the city. And that conforms to the REST specification that we are going to send in order to retrieve our data. So the first step was to figure out what REST request Zippopotamus wanted and then build the URL for that REST request in my mediation flow. And what I'm doing is I'm concatenating together these three values of city, state and country and I'm building an address URL out of all of this. And again, uh, uh, you can pause the video at any time and drill through this. I'm also going to include a link where one can download this project and examine it at your heart's content. So having uh, built the URL here, uh, when the solution runs, it makes a mediation call which drives the HTTP import, uh, which makes the request. We've said that the data handling for this import will be inbound and outbound JSON. So we didn't have to do any JSON processing explicitly in our story when the business object arrives at the HTTP import because we specified a JSON data handler as the data transformation the business object is automatically transformed into an outgoing JSON object and the data coming back is automatically parsed from JSON back into its response and then in the response business object uh, we once again do our mapping and we map the latitude and longitude from the response data back into the data we're expecting at the BPM side of the house. Okay. Sounds like a lot of stuff. The reality is, once you've had a play with these, it becomes very, very easy to build out REST requests. There's no hand coding of JSON. I've got the ability to unit test these components piece by piece, so I can manually drive the HTTP import to make sure that my REST request is working. Then I can manually drive my mediation flow and give it business data, which in turn calls the HTTP import, make sure these components are working wire this to the AIS and then I've got a good feel that the whole solution is going to work. In my process designer environment I can then invoke the advanced integration service so I just dragged and dropped in a nested service and bound that to the AIS. I define some input data which is going to be Houston, US and Texas and I hit the play button on this solution put it into debug mode it runs we're about to execute the call AIS step I execute the step over component we get a response back and here is the latitude and longitude of the city of Houston. If I change this data to be, for example, Dallas, uh, change this to Dallas, change this to Dallas, done. And if we look at the location for Houston, Houston is uh, 29.8131. And we run this again, but this time saying that uh, our data has changed to be Dallas. Run it again, step over it and we find that the uh, latitude has changed to 33.1219 which is where Dallas is. You just got to trust me in that. So that pretty much ends the demonstration. Uh, the sample project for this is going to be made available so go to the uh, YouTube link and, and, down, and see the link there where you can download it and experiment and play with this but at a high level we can now make REST requests from within a BPD environment. Now the bindings that are available in the mediation flow I can make 
changes to every conceivable REST control header. So I can change the dynamic URL, I can add security, I can add basic authentication, I can add Kerberos authentication, I can tinker with any and every HTTP header, I can parse the data and construct the data in any format, and none of this involves coding. It's all declarative via a drag and drop and a wiring mechanism, mechanism leveraging the power of SCA and SCA mediations. I hope you found something useful in here and I look forward to building more demos and videos for you in the future. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.